Hey guys, it's me, Sasuke 3 and I'm here with Lady. Hi. You just love these videos, don't you? Oh goodness. Okay. I got a package today. It's nothing Webkins, but it's something I'm really excited for. So, there it is. That's what we're looking for there. We have... Dun, da, da, da. Well, you can't really tell, but it's a tablet and scissors because I broke mine. Anyways, this is the Huion Inst Inspiree H950P. I did some research and I think this one will be really, really nice for me. I'm gonna have to cut that sticker. Well, good thing I bought scissors. Oh shoot, the tape is all, how am I supposed to? I don't think you can open it from that side. Uh, so positive news, you, uh, you can open it from this side uh, after all. There, scissors. All right, so now the seal is broken. That's interesting, they have a Skype. Warranty, gonna want that in, oh my God, this tablet is bigger than I thought it was. Save getting that out of the plastic for later. We got the pen. We have the pen holder, which is also the nib changer. Open it up and we have eight extra nibs, which is really nice. And of course the micro USB cable, as well as a little manual, I suppose. And it takes this out the plastic. There we go. That is a really nice sleek design. It's so sleek, my camera does not know where to focus. This is nice, and it's got the buttons. I've never used those before, but these are in a more convenient place on the intro, so I might. All right, well, the last thing that's left is to go inside, hook up this tablet, install it, and try it out. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm going to draw a little something using my Wacom, and then I'm going to go ahead and draw with this and see the difference. So here we have my original tablet, the Intuos, and Fire Alpaca. I mean, just it just works. I wanted to show off the tilt functionality, so I downloaded this program called Expressi, which is built completely around tilt functionality, and you can see this just how it works. It looks really, really cool. Unfortunately, Fire Alpaca, the drawing software I use, doesn't support tilt, so gonna have to live without it. But this is the drawing I decided to do. I did Roxy, the little pup over there, with my old Wacom tablet, and I am doing her brother Brevin with this Huey on. So we have a comparison between feel and look. Now to start drawing, and yeah. For those who skipped ahead to the timestamp for the speed paint, hi! I'm only gonna talk for a minute here and then I'll play music. Feel free to mute me and put on your own music. So I'm not completely sure what caused that problem, and it has happened since. You will see it happen twice more in the speed paint. It seems to be completely random when it happens. I don't know what the cause of it is. Updating Windows to the current version seemed to help, but it didn't get rid of the problem. The tablet drivers are all up to date and installed correctly. I even reinstalled mine twice. I went through Windows settings and disabled stuff. I removed the default Windows driver and then put it back on because that didn't work. I've been messing with this thing for a little bit trying to get to stop doing this, but I just, I don't know what's causing those dots. I asked on DeviantArt, I didn't get any answers. I've Googled the heck out of this and there's still nothing that's coming up. The funny thing is when sketching this with my Wacom tablet, I had not put my Huion tablet on, that dot thing happened with my Wacom tablet. So it's not exclusive to this tablet, I believe it has something to do with Windows or Fire Alpaca. Which, I didn't realize this, but I was using an old version of Fire Alpaca for this, I meant to be using the new one. But this problem is still happening on the newest version of Fire Alpaca. So if you're smart and you know how to fix this problem, or you even have an idea of what it could possibly be, please talk to me, I'm helpless here. With that out of the way, I really am liking this tablet. I have a big problem with my art where I'll go from thick to thin lines really, really easily. I have not had that issue nearly as much with this tablet. I think it might have something to do with the comfort and even just the feel of the pen, but I feel like the lineup for Brevin just looks nicer than the lineup for Roxy, and that's really where the comparison is. But also the buttons that I never thought I would use, I went ahead and I started mapping them because I found it just really convenient to draw with my right and then push the buttons with my left. It just made drawing so much faster and easier. It's just been so nice and it's been a really comfortable tablet and I really am happy with this. But anyways, I've said my piece. Enjoy the rest of the music. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Later.
Starlight It's our lives In hindsight